Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm but back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This the might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition up. in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Victoria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Oh, that's too creepy. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will, Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling you Maxine forever. This can't be real. I don't believe it. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Present the spare piece of 
Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. That's Rachel. Rachel, why the fuck were you wearing my bracelet? Gosh. All right, here's a gift. Ich schwöre, er hieß sich, er wird jetzt noch sein, sich. Ich bin nicht mehr im Club. 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 Try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after Max. me again. You used no. to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. Oh, Max! Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I th Max. The dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor for life. I realize now you'll never be. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Percival Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Comax. Drop the 
mic on Max Caulfield. Attention. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Hey, babe, babe. Who How can I tell Max's away? parents that she's a nosy little go bitch? Miss Coffee. Great Marsh, are you? Jump Max. If only Max, Kate Marsh would have jumped you? off that roof. Max, come over Could blame here. Miss Caulfield and finally get her kids. Just out. admit that you're jealous of my service record. Admit it! Oh. Jealous of my service record. Admit it! Admit it, Max. You're just jealous because me and Victoria actually do the work while you... You can't can escape my... Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Max, Rachel not only gave great headshots, oh, my she gave. Hey, Max. Rachel not only gave great oh, headshots, she gave bottles. This Rachel might be hell. Dug her body up to be with Max. Me. Oh, Max. Hey. If only I was close to you, I deserve to die. You won't be distracted in class anymore. Come on, Dad. Fucking shit, Max. Oh man, you should have heard Chloe smack talk you. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am, when your mom's away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Winds. What? Have to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max. Wine tasting session. Dad! How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. 
I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. Not after she kissed me. Her breath was ass and no tongue. I hear that. I'm not into nerds, but you're pretty cute. I'm not into Max anyway. So let's bust a move. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. <laughs> oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna- So take this me is how Max gets breaks your revenge? Yeah. Thanks for saving me. Because my husband wow. and you, baby, load, good buddy. Don't we'll let have the to die. You've always had my back, and now you're going to let me die? Thanks, Max. Please, Max, don't Who? kill me. 
Who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends, and I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Of course. She's my best friend. Oh yeah, you ignored your best friend for five years while she went through hell. <laughs> Some friend. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... <laughs> Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on! Rock out, girl! You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Rob, you saved me again! Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious- I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a- Cowabunga! Why look, an otter- Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off- Photobomb! Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Dude, I am s It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you- Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our- Chloe, you're back. I'm just... Kate wasn't the first. All those binders... Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no! Please, not her! Chloe! Come on, Max, we're, we're almost, almost there! Almost there! Max, come on now! Don't worry! Don't worry! We'll be okay! Can you hear me? Please say something.
think, Chloe. I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm at a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. But look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Not anymore. Max, I'll always be with you. Forever. As far as I can remember We've been migratory animals Living under Changing
Through the pleasure.